Hey everybody, it's me. I haven't used my sign in a long time. Let me check my camera. <laughs> I keep it right there, but I haven't used it in a long time. Okay, let me check my camera. Oh yeah, yeah, am I on? I am recording. Alrighty. Okay. I had to go out and do some last minute shopping and I was going to show you what I found for my daughter uh, to put in her box, but I can't because she watches my videos. But Melanie, if you're watching, it is so you. Alright, um, the other day whenever I was out with Bailey, we, we stopped at Walmart. I forget what I had to stop for. Oh, I had to get some special lotion for my husband. But she pointed out she wanted the Minions toothbrush. And I guess it's a battery operated. Yeah. Uh, and nowhere does it say in there, I don't think, that uh, whether or not the batteries are included. But I think her parents can uh, figure that out. Two triple A's. Okay, well, she wanted the Minion toothbrush. And then she saw the Minion toothpaste. Now, this, this young lady can't figure out if she likes Minions, if she likes Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Monster High, uh... What else? It used to be Jake and the Neverland Pirates and and uh, uh, Doc McStuffins. So it's just like oh, and I found these. The tag fell off. Actually, uh, it ac accidentally pulled it off. But these, I found these in the clearance for three dollars, and I thought that was pretty good since these little what do they call these disco balls or something like that? One, two, three, like nine, ten. There's eleven. That's an odd amount. Uh, for three dollars, because those are usually pretty expensive. I think they were Derice or um, I forget. Uh, let's see. Oh, I found these at Walmart. These are Leisure Arts, and they were like four ninety eight or something like that. Yeah, you know, four ninety seven. It's really pretty. It's got tropical birds and stuff in it. But it's uh, one of those adult coloring books. You know? <laughs> okay. Whenever you first heard the term adult co coloring book, whose mind went there? I know, I saw a couple of hands go up. Um, and I bought this white puffy paint. No, cause somebody said you can use it like for icing if you make uh, like uh, fake, uh, fake gingerbread cookies, you know, for like ornaments or something. And I saw somebody, I can't remember, Callie Black, I think, she made some ornaments with applesauce a lot of cinnamon and nutmeg and I was thinking what if you could do the same with salt dough cinnamon and nutmeg so you wouldn't have the applesauce you wouldn't actually have food involved but and then ice them with the puffy paint I got this at 97 cents at Walmart so I figure I really can't go wrong uh, to give that a try you know how you put it on a piece of paper and see if it does what it's supposed to and then of course I was Christmas shopping but and I really need to stop going to the Buchanan Walmart. Oh, and I was going to pick up a, a pad of um, Minion scrapbook paper because somebody on here said they have, were having a hard time finding it. And they had one left and it looked like somebody had yanked it apart and it was all nasty. And I said, well, that's just crappy. Um, Dolly's Holiday Stickers. I liked the snowflakes. I don't know if there's a glare on that. don't know. Thought those were pretty. Um, I like these. These are uh, these would be good, and they've got a lot. They're really dimensional, and they're really stiff. These say "Merry Christmas" and "Happy Holidays," and I thought those would be good if I decide next year to make one of those um, one of those fo uh, what are that, that folded folded card. Remember what I did for Halloween? Yeah, one of those cards. You probably don't remember, but. I what did I call it? I forget. What the heck was that style called? Oh, and then these, I thought they were really cute. I almost got two of them, but I said, no, I'm just going to keep it down to one because I wasn't supposed to be shopping for myself, and these are just a little under $3 a pack. The Christmas trees. I had to get the Christmas trees. Okay, and then there was something else. Oh, um, apparently I'm going to do one whole box of Bailey that has to do with Monster High, but I got her the Monster High jammies. My girl is petite, so I think these pants are going to be too long. She, her mommy may have to hem them for her, but um, but I've got her. I got her these jammies, and I got her two videos and a couple of puzzles. No, 
two small puzzles and one large puzzle and and I think I'll just go put all that and make that her monster high box. And then I want to show you something. It's, it was funny. It was funny. I just happened to be, I don't know why, I was went over in the toy aisle. Oh, and oh, by the way, there is not a colored pencil, regular colored pencils. They have the erasable colored pencils, but there's not a regular set of colored pencils at Western Walmart or Buchanan Walmart. None to be found. So I guess these things are really taking off. Uh, my husband actually found a pack for me at um, of Crayola at um, Kroger's. Okay. Anyway, I was over in the toys, and over in the toys they have like games and stuff. Well, I guess playing cards are still considered games. Um, they had okay, dear, dear Lord, they have um, Duck Dynasty playing cards. They have zombie playing cards. Uh, I forget what the re they had regular playing cards, but then they had I forget what the other one was. But they had bicycle bicycle brand playing cards has steampunk. I haven't opened them yet. I was waiting. We were gonna open them together and see what they look like. That was all. That was all my uh, Walmart. Well, except for what I couldn't show you that I got my daughter. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna open the. And you know, playing cards aren't cheap. Good grief. Oops, okay. Well, hey, <laughs> bear with me. Okay, once you crack it, I guess uh, you can't play poker with anybody with them. Gotta crack that deck in front of people. So I've heard. Okay, um. So it's got steampunk faces on them. Alrighty, let's just have a look here. Steampunk faces. The Joker is riding a bicycle. The Joker is riding a bicycle. Okay. Uh, the Ace is a steampunk Ace. Okay, the two, three, four, five, six, seven of um, of the aces. Nothing special. I'm not really sure that the um, that the royal family is anything special. Mm -hmm. Nothing special. Do you think there's anything special in there? I don't think so. Uh, let's see. The ace of diamonds is nothing special. See, they're nothing special. I'm sorry, I'm not showing you, but the only thing that was steampunky, steampunky was uh, the Ace of Spades and the Jokers. Alright, well that was a disappointment. But the box of them, you know, they're, they're, they're the steampunk stuff, so. And I have these all messed up now. Oh well. Alright, well that was kind of anticlimactic, wasn't it? Alright, shall we move on to Dollar Tree? I didn't have a decent pen to write with in this house. No matter what pen I picked up, brand new or otherwise, it either dragged, you know, because I had that cheap ink in it or whatever. Well, I'm going to tell you, um, these, let's see, what was it? I wanted to show you, what was it? Uh, I don't know what it was. It was this gold and, what was the other one? The gold and the silver of the ink INC period brand from Dollar Tree, they work just dandy. Right, very smooth. They're like a gel pen, right? Okay. And I said, well, I'm going for the ink brand again. And I bought me some of these. My phone is ringing. Uh, I'll get it later. I've already taken one out because I tested it. Eight of them for a dollar, and it writes smooth as silk. All right. I am going to attempt to, right before Christmas, make... Um, who was it? Carol, Carol Marie? Carol Marie? Was it Carol Marie? I'm not sure. Anyway, she made snowman soup. And I, so I went and I found four mugs that were snowmen at Dollar Tree. Of course, they're different, two different styles. This one and then, and then these are two alike. And she put them in a bag. 
cocoa, um, hot cocoa packets, which I have left over from my um, craft show, and a little bag of mini marshmallows, and um, a candy cane. And she put it in a bag. So I got the cups. The only thing I don't have is mini marshmallows. But, um, I got the cups. I got the bags. I thought it was cute snowman. Snow. I know it's blue. Um, and I got the candy canes. Do you know Lifesavers makes candy canes now? But these are little individually wrapped. I have the big ones. Usually I put those on my tree, but I didn't do that this year. But candy canes. And who was it? Who was I watching? Tina Kappa. And she was making ornaments. And I think she had these little fuzzy guys that she was. And I thought, well, that would be cute on the tag. To have one of these tied on there. Yeah, snowman. Keeping with the theme. And then I thought, well, it would be kind of neat to maybe next year, be next year's thing. Um, to make... Um, it, that's snowman soup, but how about like reindeer punch and find, you know, like if you could find reindeer mugs or something, which I didn't, uh, and put like apple cider in it and um, a cinnamon stick and maybe a little bag of Red Hots or something like that. Well, I said, well, I wonder how much cinnamon sticks would cost. So, you know what? Walmart did not have not one cinnamon stick. Dollar Tree to the rescue. They had a whole box of them. They were small, which is fine. They had a whole box of them. Dollar pack. I bought four. I figure, you know, even uh, it's called Baker's Select. They're three-inch cinnamon sticks. Greenbrier International, and I, I'm um, from watching uh, Natasha Hensel's channel. I think she said that's Dollar Tree's like company thing. But so I got four of them. And I thought, well, if I don't, and I'm not going to open, you know, they should be fine. They are completely sealed. You can't even smell it hard through, hardly through the uh, wrapper, which may not be a good thing. It may mean they're not very potent, but it's a cinnamon stick. Um, it, isn't the cinnamon the bark out of, off the tree? I think it is. But I thought, well, these will these will last, and I may not find them because I couldn't find them at Walmart. So I just thought, well, I'll just get a bunch of them. And the lady at checkout, I said, I found your cinnamon sticks here. I said, I couldn't even find them at Walmart. She says, I think we only have them during the holidays. So, th that may be true. So, if you need cinnamon sticks, go get them. A dollar a bag. There's like, I don't know. What? A couple dozen in there. Alright, that was it. Uh, I think I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta uh, pack up some boxes <laughs> to mail out. Um, I still haven't mailed out my daughter's box. Melanie, it's on its way. My birthday's tomorrow. Um, I'll be 58 years old. And I'm hot. That's I'm not having a hot flash. I'm just hot because I was running around. And this, it was like 55 degrees whenever I came home. Ah, don't worry about me. I'm not having a heart attack or anything. Um, but I'll be 58 years old tomorrow. Who would have thunk it? Um, anyway. I have Bailey tomorrow, too, so take my mind off of getting old. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will talk to you later. Oh, Sherry Wolf, I do have that um, the recipe for the pork chops if you're watching, and I'm going to private message that to you, okay? All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.